out of fruit already, ran out of fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and so now it's just yogurt by itself. Oh, I can't. And we have the food Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Right Ready to work today? Nope. Why? It's Sunday. We're Alejo and Andrea, and we've been living on our sailboat for the past two years. After spending 10 long days of being at the boat here in Grenada, working our butts off, and another few weeks struggling with electrical problems on board, we were exhausted and ready to go sailing in search of an adventure. <laughs> Goodbye! Hakuna Matata! It means no worries! The water looks pretty clear. Yeah, we're just gonna jump in with our snorkels, check out the area, see how it is. Uh, meanwhile, we're making a little bit of water. We're making drinking water because we're already running out of water. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our scuba diving gear and we're going to scuba dive around the area. designed by us, right babe? Yes, by you. So, this is the women's style. Hope you guys like it. Perfect for snorkeling, for kiting. What do you think? Perfect for kiting. It's pretty for good. Snorkeling, for diving. Yeah, for diving. So we're gonna the material it. is pretty cool. It's like thick, so it protects you from the sun. We got my Hakuna here. Alejo got his Hakuna right there. <laughs> you can find it on our website on livinghakuna.com forward slash shop. And we always love showing you some of our adventures. Unfortunately, this time our cameras stopped working underwater and we lost all our footage. So guys, last minute and unplanned recording. We are heading to Karyaku. We decided that we we're tired of being in Grenada, not exploring and not doing the things that we like doing. Hopefully we get to kite for there. We're going so to buy some fresh fruits, fresh veggies, and we're heading to Karyaku. In a long time, you haven't fished. Yes, we're gonna put a lure and the two fishing rods. Hopefully, there's not too much seaweed, and yeah, we'll see if we catch some. Are you sure? Yes. How do you know? Because it's yellow. It's your first yellowfin tuna? Yes. Oh shit. So we got Chef Andrea filleting the fish. The dogs are going crazy for the fish. A big fillet. Once we cut it, we catch a fish, we use a nice pick to kill it in the brain so you, we use this and then we just fillet it right away put the nice fillets put it in the freezer or we eat it right away it depends on the size of the fish and the dogs get a lot of bonus meat of the fish so we're gonna make some sushi tonight with some fresh cut tuna Ozzy what do you say about the fresh cut tuna? do you want to smell the tuna? are you smelling the tuna? do not lick my hands uh, was he Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the hunt for some more tuna or mahi-mahi. So I see some birds about like 400 feet away with my binoculars. We're heading that way. We're gonna do one to two passes. Hopefully we catch something. 
no, we tried. So yeah, we want more fish. Because I need to feed a family of four. One little fish, not enough. Guys, we're getting pretty close to a, to a bird. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're like right here. What are we doing? You're so excited right now. We're following the birds. After the haul out, it had been a rough few weeks. Ozzy, there's no more left. You already ate it all. Especially after huh? we got back in the water and the electrical system of our boat was just partially worked. So we decided to sail to Karyuku. Jesus, dude, you act like we've never given you food, Ozzy. And go back to Grenada when the parts arrive. Hopefully, this would remind us why we love living life at sea. Needless to say, we were extremely happy and excited to explore a new island and get out of our work routine. Okay, guys. So oh, right now, guys. ladies Hello. and gentlemen, we have Hi. Chef Andrea yep. making some sushi. Well, not sushi. What We're making, making. I'm making eel sauce because we can never have sushi without eel sauce. If you have not tried eel sauce, please try eel sauce. Like find a recipe online and make it for sushi because yes, it's life changing. Eel sauce is what? Um, it is. It has soy sauce. It has. Mirin or Myrin, I don't know how to spell it, but it's like a white wine, Japanese white wine, and it has sugar. Sugar. So we already made the rice, rice, and we're just gonna make the sauce. Yeah. And we have the fish here. Oh, shit. That's the fish. So we're making the sauces, which is spicy mayo, and like I said, eel sauce, which is sriracha with mayo, and it's amazing. We used to eat sushi every single week, so we are like sushi pros because we love. There was a spot, there was this place in Florida that had like a happy hour, and we would go there when we were dating, like two times a week, right? Yeah, <laughs> Three times a week. More. Whenever they had a happy hour, we were there. Green onions. That's not pickle, that's cucumber. Same thing. Pickle. <laughs> cucumber. Pickle. Some carrot, green onions, and the fish. Yeah, that's all we had for the sushi. Yes. So we already did one. This is the second one. That is the third one. And I'm making the fourth one here. We like our sushi rolls inside out, which is like the rice on the outside instead of the inside. Because when you have, I don't know, that's what we feel. When you have the rice on the inside it tastes more like fishy like because of the of the algae so yeah that's the way we like it what do you think ready for sushi this is what we love doing watching a movie food i got a lot of sushi eel sauce <laughs> And we will see you tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, yes. Bye. We are going to the windward side of the island. It looks pretty nice here. You can see like the mountains. Super nice. Beautiful, beautiful scenery.
like to spend the night. So you're gonna be super rolly. The entire night feels like you're sailing, and so you don't sleep like as good as when it's you know perfectly flat. dogs but this time we're tying this line to each dog so this way they don't swim to the other side of the island <laughs> right Ozzy? ready set go good girl Leko. good girl good boy Yoshita good boy good boy good boy Yoshita <laughs> good boy pero le gustó <laughs> Making me some tofu. We're with corn. He's having some chicken. And I think this was just what we were missing. Yes. Right? Clear water. <laughs> I know. This makes us so happy. We were feeling pretty low after the haul out and whatever, but this makes us really happy. To be honest. So here, got a nice. The dogs are happy too. Look at Aussie. Good boy, good boy, good boy. He loves swimming today. Yes, good boy, good boy, good boy. Yes, so good boy, you see the good boy. And Miss Echo, he's also happy that she went swimming today, right? We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. It's a free and easy way to support our channel. And join us next week as we share with you one of the hardest and most vulnerable moments since we've been living on board. <laughs>